today's video, we are walking you through everything you need to know for the Wayland Apparel Camo Collection launch. It is happening this Saturday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So a little bit earlier than our previous launches. We're gonna try and get a little bit earlier because it is like midday on a weekend for our East Coasters. So trying it out, let us know what you think about the timing for the drop or comment below what other times or days of the week you would like to see. So without further ado, we are going to get into it. So you guys know that we are launching um, one crop top and one pair of leggings in three different colorways. Uh, so I'm gonna go over a little bit about each one. I am currently wearing the black camo one. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, the crop top. So the fabric, you guys been asking about the fabric, it is the same as the favorite leggings that you felt in the Wander crop top. However, uh, the process to make the camo is sublimation, so it was printed onto the fabric, so it does feel a little different than the other favorite leggings, wanderer crops, all of that. So just as soft, just as smooth, but it does feel a little bit different because of the printing process that um, we had to go through to get the camo to make it happen. So just so you know, that's uh, roughly the feeling you can aim for, and you can think that, or that you can think of if you tried it before. If not, know it's soft, know it's kind of compressive, but not super compressive, and all that jazz. Um, so crop top, I wanted to do something flattering around here. It is high neck. If you want it to be, we have a diagonal quarter zip, um, so you can wear it the whole way down. And as long as you do a little shift, you're not gonna have any nip slips. You can wear it halfway up. However you like, we have all of the options here. We have a nice quality zipper. Um, the zippers were all dyed to match each piece. So um, I know one of the questions that I got on Instagram was, why are there no shorts? Look, fan, this was supposed to launch a little while ago. If you know, we haven't had a launch in a while. We have like a restock and a men's launch, but it's been a little while, a little while since we've had a women's launch. We've been working on this for a long time. Um, it took longer because of the fact that they had to print on the fabric and then it took even longer because we individually custom dyed all of the zippers. So it's just a process. Um, this was supposed to be launched before summer, but here we are. Don't worry, there will be shorts and other launches coming up. Uh, yeah, so moving on, I'm gonna show you guys the back. It's a cute little wire, I don't know, razor back deal. Uh, the crop on me, I'm 5'4", the crop on me comes to about um, like right where the leggings start. Um, I'm gonna sit over here, I'm gonna over, I'm gonna add a video of me spinning around and all that so you can actually see because I know I'm just standing. Um, so crop comes to right about where the leggings are, I'm 5'4", it's gonna depend on your height. I don't have a super long torso or anything so it's gonna fit everybody a little bit differently. And then we have our logo in the back corner. Um, usually with the logo placement, depending on the piece, if the main focus of it is not the logo, I usually try to do something um, that, you know, you still see it and it's still there, but it's not like in your face. Um, because me personally, I plan on wearing this top with like joggers. I tried it on with jeans one day, which I didn't think I would like, but I did. It's really fucking cute. Um, and so yeah, I just like the pieces to be versatile and not everybody wants a logo in your face. And some people are weird, didn't know this, but some people don't like to mix and match logos. I wear my Nike socks with Adidas shoes and people are like, why are you doing that? I'm like, bitch, I don't care. Um, but, Anyway, so yeah, logo in the little back corner. It's like the silver one that we always do. Um, let's go over some of the particular things for the top. All right, so for the top, I wanted to show you guys on the inside. So these are double layered. So it looks like it's printed on black, but it is printed on white. Um, and then there's two separate layers. The entire top is lined, not just the front. So we do have the option for pads. It will come with removable pads. I don't know how well you can see, but there is a little pocket here and it is stitched in. That being said, there's not a shelf in it like there was with the Wanderer crop top. However, 
I would say this is more supportive than the wider crop top with the higher neckline and the straps being a little bit thicker. This one definitely like I can bounce around in this and I'm not bouncing around much in the wonder crop. Um, I also tried this with a sports bra underneath. There are certain straps you can find that will go under it. If you like to be super strapped in, you don't like to not wear a bra, I would recommend probably sizing up so that you have room for a sports bra under this because it is designed to be like on your body and not really leave much room for that sports bra. So if you're thinking about doing a sports bra, probably go size up, but if you like no bra, like I said, it is double layered. So you have that extra layer. It's not just one layer of fabric. It's nice and compressive, so it helps keep the girls there. Um, and then we have the removable pads as an option. Yeah. Okay, so now let's move on to the leggings. Uh, with the leggings, like I said, this is sublimation and the pattern is printed onto white fabric. That being said, when the fabric stretches, there's a little bit of white, um, I don't even know what, what the word is. You can fucking see a little bit of the white, depending on who it is. If you're smaller and you're buying the appropriate size and it's not stretching as much, you won't see as much of the white. I mean, look, I'm wearing it now. It stretches a little bit. You guys are seeing the videos, you're seeing the photos. So it's not like anything crazy, but I just wanted to put it out there. That way, if you're between sizes and you're not sure which size to get, I would probably pick the larger size. Um, I am still wearing the same size that I have in almost everything else. I have a small top on. I am a 32D bra size, and I wear small tops almost all the time. Occasionally, I wear mediums, so I'm a small top. Um, and I am in the extra small bottoms. Some other brands, I do small leggings, um, but with every single pair of Wayland leggings that we have released so far. I've been an extra small and I stuck with an extra small. I like it. Um, the waistband is made just the same. It still has the inner panels like all the other ones have. Um, it has the same booty contour. It has a seamless ankle, which we've had for the last few collections. So they're made the same. It's the same fabric. However, like I said, the fabric does feel slightly different. And I would say this is sort of an in-between. If you've tried the tie-dye, that was definitely more compressive. It was a different fabric. And then if you've tried the favorite, it's a little more stretchy. Um, this is definitely stretchy, but I would say as far as compressive compression, it does feel more of an in-between between the regular favorite that you're used to feeling and the tie-dye compressive fabric, the speed fabric. Um, I personally love the feel of it. I love the fit. I like to be a little bit more compressed. I think it's perfect. Um, but it's a preference thing. So, you know, it is what it is. We're putting it out there. Um, as you saw when I did the squat test, you could see a little bit of that white. Um, but I want you to know, first of all, it is the fabric. You're not seeing my skin. I'm not that fucking pale, okay? Okay, did you see my skin? Also, I'm using a ring light. So it's reflecting a little differently. And you might think, well, it doesn't look the same as the top. Don't forget the top has that black liner in it. It's not as bad when you're in the gym. It's not gonna be a crazy white showing through. I'm using a ring light. It's reflecting that color. And I'm like purposefully like trying to stick my ass in the camera so that you guys can get that full visual and just know what it's gonna look like. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try on some of the other colors. I'll do a little spin around in every color. Oh, I keep forgetting I gotta stand over here so I can put it on the screen. So I'm not a professional YouTuber. Um, so I'm going to show you the other colors and go over some of the other sizing questions and all that. All right, so I'm now in the green set. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the other questions we had. Um, so somebody was asking about sizing compared to the Renew Bra. So the Renew Bra was made to be our most compressive fabric or our most compressive bra. It is made with different fabric um, and it was meant to like hold you in. This is meant to be a crop top. So yes, it is. This is going to be more supportive than the Wanderer crop, but still, it is a crop top. It has the built-in bra option. Um, I would do yoga in this without a bra. I would do a lift with this without a bra. I would do a hit that doesn't have an excessive amount of jumping in this without a bra. Would I run in this without a bra? No, I have implants. I'm actually supposed to always wear a bra. So I personally wouldn't, if you have smaller boobs, you'd probably be okay. Um, but like I said before, if you know that you are going to want to wear a bra underneath this, I recommend sizing up. 
so that it's not pulling on the fabric. You have a little bit more room for that bra, all of that jazz. And maybe not necessarily sizing up, but if you're between two sizes, pick the larger size. Um, what other questions? Legging size, like I said before, same size as all of the other ones. And um, they run the same. If you're between two sizes, I would pick the larger one. Like I said, we do have that little bit of sheerness with, not sheerness, because it's not see-through, but you can see that little bit of white. Um, like I said, for me, not a problem. I am personally still wearing the same size. Um, if you tried the other favorite leggings, but you, and then you also tried the speed leggings, and you had to wear two different sizes in the favorite versus the speed, I would probably pick the size that you chose in the speed leggings. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the white. I don't know. I'm over these transitions. Okay, last but not least, thank God it's fucking hot in here, is the white camo. Um, so the white camo is actually more of like a gray camo. Um, I know that anytime there's lighter colors, people are worried about it being see-through. No one wants to see a butthole in the gym. Don't worry, I don't want that for anyone. I don't want that for myself. So we went with more of a gray vibe and then there's only one little, what do you call it, splotch of camo that is white. Um, I love the look of this. I'm like a low-key obsessed. Um, and white is good for like if you go tailgating and there's a white out. I'm just saying. Do you want to wear your favorite leggings to a tailgate? I don't know, maybe not. But I'm just saying because, you know, I wish I had these in college. But now they're here. So, um, yeah, we have the white, as you can see with the video, not see-through. Uh, price points, that was one thing you guys asked. So prices are going to be 59 for the favorite leggings like they always are. Crops are going to be 38. Um, but, however, exciting news that we're gonna put out in our email and I'm announcing for the first time here that our birthday is June 29th. We're gonna be two years old. We couldn't really do anything fun last year for Waylon's birthday, first birthday, because hashtag COVID, okay? And honestly, we're probably not doing anything. Uh, no celebrations this year just because life, man. I celebrated way too hard for just living life last weekend. Um, Maybe I'll have a cake. Anyway, the point is that it is our birthday and to show you guys appreciation and love, we are going to discount the whole motherfucking store. New pieces included, we are discounting everything. That is only going to be though on the first initial launch day, Saturday. If you can't get on launch day, um, Sunday, we will still have some sale pieces to celebrate our birthday um, on certain items, but the new camo collection will no longer be on sale. So if you catch it on Saturday, launch day, you will get a little extra discount, will be a little cheaper as a happy birthday to Waylon. Thank you guys for supporting and being here with us from the beginning, or if it's your first time ordering, whatever it is, we appreciate you, we love you. I would not be here or have any of this without you you make it all possible. And thank you to you guys who literally buy just to support me. I mean, like our products are good, so like it's not just to support me, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I can't thank you enough. Okay, I love you. We launch on Saturday. Don't forget, set your alarm. We are not restocking this. So if you don't get it, too bad, too sad. Okay? Comment down below what you do want me to restock. Let us just know. If you haven't DM'd me yet and you're not commenting below, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me, okay? Love you. Thank you. Goodbye.